Have you ever woke up in the morning and thought, I think I'm just going to cut off all my hair. <laughs> well, okay, this is close enough to it. <laughs> 11 inches. I've been thinking about it, but usually all I ever do is just think about it. And I don't know, today I just, when I got out of the shower, I was just like, I'm just going to cut off some of my hair. <laughs> so I cut off 11 inches. That's what it turned out to be, 11 inches. But, um, yeah, have you ever done that before? Just like, I need a change. Just, you know. I mean, usually when someone has long hair, they have long hair for ever and ever, you know. Which, you know, mine is still pretty long still. But... For me to cut off that much, that was quite traumatic. I actually cried the whole time. I even said it. I was just like, I don't want to cut off my hair. <laughs> well, I have to say that the strangest thing about cutting some of my hair off was the reactions that I got from my friends and family. <laughs> they were like, why did you do that? <laughs> Instead of, oh, that looks nice. Why did I do that? Well, actually, there's really no explanation. <laughs> so how do you answer that? <laughs> well, I don't know. It just felt like, you know, I Britney Spirit out a little bit, you know, and went cuckoo and A. Hey. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, but that's the way it goes. One day you just wake up and decide, hey, Let's get some of that hair off. Oh, well, it's done now, so I guess I'll just have to let it grow back out some. If I don't like it this way, so. Or then maybe next time I wake up and I'll cut it up to here. I don't know. We'll see. Have a good one.